Hi, today in part 2 of our series, we will be actually looking into how SQL accounting can help you manage your water meter reading and billing. So before we continue, do like and subscribe so that you will be notified when we release new guides in the future. Okay, so to set this up, first we will need to preset each owner's water reading currently. So to do that, all you just need to do is come to customer, maintain customer, and then let's say we select customer A. Here we can press edit and here we can come to meter reading. So you can see here the water reading now is on 22. Alright. So for some of our clients, another situation that they encounter is that a certain property would have residential and also commercial buildings. So what happens is for us, we will actually manage the different kind of building rates through the price tag here. So you can set as price tag A as normal residential, price tag B as commercial lots. Alright, so you can actually preset for each different strata title. Alright, so once we're done, we just press save and then we close this. Alright, so to actually set what are the rates for different titles, we can actually come here to stock, we can come to maintain stock item, and then you select water billing. And then if we look here, we have one called a customer price here. Okay, so the customer price here, we can set here as A as residential. So residential, the rates as $2.28 per unit. And that's a minimum of 12 ringgit. So if you want to have set a minimum of 12 ringgit, we need to come to the discount column here. We put 0 plus 12. So if the minimum is 10 ringgit, so we can actually add it here. We can change this to 0 plus 10. All right? And for price tag B for commercial, we can actually set this as say example 40 cents per unit. All right? So all this actually can be preset in the system here already. Okay. So for your invoice title, what happens is if you want to have say example water billing for the month. So the only way for us to actually account for it, it will be here water billing then we can check for the month say October 2020 all right so once you're done we just press save all right so now we are set already let's generate our billing for the month so we come here to sales we can come to quotations so find our preset setting here what sorry water let's edit and then from here we can just make sure everything is correct say water billing for October 2020 change here to for the month October 2020 right always make sure that your setting here is water reading so that the system will actually calculate what was your last reading so to generate the bills all we need to do is press generate bill yes Okay, so you can see what was the last reading here. Alright, so let's say I'm not going to do all 912 units, I'm going to do a few. So let's say example, Roger Leong here. Instead of 5 units, I will put here 7 units. And then if it's A10803, it's 50 units, I will put here say 100 units. Alright, so you can preset everything. So just plug in the numbers down here. And if you are okay, just press done. Okay. Okay, once done, just press save. Okay, now let's look into our water billing. Alright, so we come here to sales, we come to invoice. So let's say we type here water bill for the month of October. Alright, so we can see here we have Roger Leong and we got Shamudin. So Roger Leong, let's double click into here. We can set here, you see, current was 7, previous of 5, so the total is 2 units. So because 2 times 2.28 is not more than $10, the system will put it as a default as $10. Alright, so it becomes like that. For the other one, because it's more than that, so it will take up 150, so 50 at $2.28, the system will calculate for you and here 114. Alright, so every time when we generate this, the system will also update the customer's details here. So let's say example, 
A1083. You can actually copy this. And you can see now the current reading is 100, right? You can come to customer, maintain customer. So we can select here from here, we can put here A0083. So straight away you can see the water reading here is 100. So every time when you generate a new water billing, the system will automatically update what is your last reading picked up. Okay, so that's it for our guide today on how we can actually manage water billing in SQL Accounting. If you need any additional assistance about this feature, do feel free to contact our team. Thank you.